And that's exactly 12! Perfect yung live natin ngayon. Hello guys, so good afternoon guys and welcome to Buhay sa Dubai. And today, siguro ibahin natin yung topic natin. We will discuss more about DSWD travel clearance for Filipino minors. And also, pag-uusapan din natin yung affidavit of consent to travel. So, napakarami pong mga kababayan natin ngayon na gustong papuntahin dito sa Pilipi sa Dubai, I mean, or sa UAE, ang kanilang mga mahal sa buhay. So, yun yung pag-uusapan natin today. So, if you have questions, guys, please uh, just write down in the comment box below. I'm going to entertain pa rin yung inquiries nyo about packages going to Dubai, exiting, tours, at kung ano-ano pa. sa mga taga-ibang bansa and it's good afternoon dito sa Dubai and I think it's very afternoon na sa Pinas If you are watching, see you later dito sa aming office. So ito guys, pag-uusapan natin, no? uh, please guys, if you have like friends or relatives, especially to those who are planning to bring yung mga anak nila or kapatid na mga minor from Philippines or from other countries na papuntang UAE, ayun, please do share our Facebook Live. It's either live man to na ma-share sa kanila or kahit after na ng live streaming natin. I'm still hoping na makakatulong tayo sa kanila and still kahit po naka-off live na tayo, Pwede pa rin po silang mag-comment or you can send me message. I have my contact number and my WhatsApp number dyan sa taas or they can just PM me on my Facebook account. Okay, so bago ang lahat, of course, bumati muna tayo ng ilang mga first viewers natin. Of course, hello kay Marjay Bitamor. Sabi hi Sir Johnny from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. And of course, kay best friend Laila De La Cruz from Philippines. Ayan, sabi niya, hi BFF, have a nice day as always. Ayan, so sa lahat naman, nagsiselebrate ng birthday today. Happy birthday sa inyong lahat. Can you sing a song? Like a birthday song? Okay, sige. So sa lahat po ng mga may birthday, be ready guys. Uh, si, be birth, kung baga bibigyan kayo ng birthday song later ng ating in-house talent na si JP... What's your last name again? Smith. JP Smith. Hindi nga. Mendoza. Mendoza Smith. Mendoza lang. Na si JP. Kaya yon. Okay, so do stand by guys. I'm also going to announce yung mga uh, in-travel updates. 
and mga guides later. Kaya abangan nyo pa rin maraming maraming salamat of course to those who are watching and sharing guys my live streaming videos. It's either dito po sa Facebook or on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much guys. Every day I have like more than 20 YouTube subscribers and I'm so thankful for that. Palaki na ng palaki ang community natin. And abangan nyo guys, no, I am actually finalizing na lang that every night around 10pm kakaroon tayo ng parang OFW Connect Facebook Live kung saan pag-uusapan natin yung buhay natin bilang isang OFW, ano yung common problema na hinaharap natin. It's either financial, love life, personal, or sa bahay, di ba? Sa mga partitions, if you guys are living sa mga accommodations, transportations, at kung ano-ano pa. So that's every night, 10pm. Dito pa rin sa aking account, sa aking Facebook account. But I'm also sharing that on my YouTube channel. Kaya kahit yung mga hindi pa nakaka-follow sa akin, on my Facebook account, you can still watch guys yung mga live streaming natin on my YouTube channel. Kaya yun, so, please stand by guys. In few minutes, we will going to start our discussion. So, sana po, if you have inquiries and questions, just write them in the comment box below. Okay? Hello kay Frank! Ayan, magandang umaga sir from Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Wala pang taga Dubai dyan! And thank you so much to Arlene Monoy who just shared our post sa isang Facebook page. Thank you so much guys for sharing. Okay, so maybe we will start guys yung konting uh, explanation lang no. Sino yung mga pupwede mag-travel dito sa UAE ng mga minor? Sino yung pinaka-okay yung wala masyadong problema? Of course, if they are traveling, yung mga minors are going to travel dito sa UAE at nandito ang kanilang parents eh, wala pong problema yon, Madali po yan. Pero today, yung pag-uusapan natin ay more on different scenarios. Kasi di ba, we understand, meron tayong mga single parents, right? Meron mga legitimate na mga minors. Meron din naman, legitimate, it means, uh, illegitimate ba ang tamang term or legitimate? Illegitimate pala, sorry. Yun yung, let's say, uh, walang parents. Yung yun, single mom, single dad. Or yung, what if yung both parents are already uh, passed away. Di ba? Paano magta-travel yung mga ano? Wala na yung mga magulang. Or, pag wala na, or what if, wala pa yung mga lolo. Kasi normally guys, ang isang minor, of course, under sila sa parents. But what if both parents passed away? Automatic po yun na ha-hand over yung, yung responsibility sa godparents. Na, tama ba? No, no, no. God, godparents. Grandparents, I mean. Ayun. Kapag what if yung mga lolo lola ay wala na rin, sino yung next? Na pwede maging parang guarantor nila. Of course, it will be sa isang kamag-anak, kagat sa edad kapatid ng parents, na mother or father, yung tipong ganun. So, medyo malawak yung pag-uusapan natin today. Kaya guys, be ready. If you have questions, write it now. Then share this to your friends and relatives na kailangan ng ganitong information. Bago ang lahat, I would like to say thank you so much, of course, to my big boss, Madam Prado, okay, ang mother, ano nga, most powerful queen ng travel agency dito sa Dubai. Thank you so much, madam, for the suggestions of our topics on a daily basis dito sa Facebook Live sa buhay sa Dubai. Okay, so ito muna from from Jerry Isorda. Good morning, Sir Juni, to Arlene Munoy from Alriga. Ayan, so malapit na malapit ka lang pala sa office namin. So, to all of my viewers, guys, who are just living in area, you can visit po sa office namin anytime. Pwede kayong dumalaw, okay? And to our to Julius Saguan, good morning. And of course, Laila de la Cruz, taga Antipolo City siya. <laughs> okay, so yan lang guys. So, be ready. We will start with our discussion. Metro, I'm 
Okay guys, so shall we start po yung explaining muna kasi I just received a message. Sabi niya, what is the difference what is the difference of visit visa and tourist visa? So, una guys, to be honest, wala po kayong mahahanap na visa na nakalagay doon ay visit visa. Okay, actually, it is still the same with the tourist visa. Tourist visa po talaga yung hawak nyo. Yung, yung terminology na na visit visa, eh, nagiging visit visa lang yung katawagan if yung traveler is, they say, jobless in the Philippines o walang trabaho and yung profile niya is hindi niya afford mag-travel or hindi siya qualified as a tourist. Kasi kung sinabi mo kasing visit visa, ito yung automatically meron silang affidavit of support. It means that there is someone, their first blood or immediate family na na nagpa-promise, okay, sa ating Philippine immigration officers in the Philippines na sila ang bahala sa lahat, okay, yung accommodation, yung food, yung lahat-lahat sa country na pupuntahan niya. So, doon nagiging parang ang katawagan ay nagiging visit visa. Pero paano nang, pero yung visa na hinawakan niya guys is still a tourist visa ha. Okay, so yun ang nagiging difference nun. But, they say if you are qualified as a tourist visa kasi, tourist visa can be yung mga travelers na or may magandang trabaho, professional in the Philippines. Eh, they can come here. Kasi naman kung afford mo naman mag-travel talaga as tourist sa Dubai or UAE, hindi eh, mo naman kailangan ng kamag-anak para lang makapunta ka dito, di ba? So that's the difference. Okay, sana po makatulong tayo saan. Okay, so shall we start? Habang wala pa yung question yung iba. Okay, una po. Okay, let's talk about application muna ng visa. So right now guys, if you are applying for a one-month visa ng, uh, tawag nito ng, ng UAE visa, kasi ang, ang visa po kasi maraming suppliers. So visas can be from Dubai, can be Abu Dhabi, can be Sharjah, can be Russell Kaima. In, in seven Emirates ng UAE guys, nagpo-provide o nagbibigay sila ng visas. Okay, and just an information, wala pong problema kung kahit saan pa manggaling yung visa na binigay sa inyo. Let's say, I have a client, yung visa niya is uh, Abu Dhabi. Pero sir, paano yan yung flight ko is going to Dubai? Wala pang magiging problema. Yes guys, wala pong problema. Kahit ano pa pong visa ang hawak nyo, for as long, ang rule lang niyan is it should be within UAE airports. So since kahit Abu Dhabi pa yung visa mo at sa, sa Dubai ka dadaan na airport, wala pong problema. Same with mostly kasi di ba Sharjah yung nare-receive nyo ng mga visa these days. So kahit dumaan ka ng Abu Dhabi or Dubai airport, wala pong problema yon. Okay, so sana ayun. So i-clarification natin yan sa, sa mga visa sa Pero minsan, just a little uh, ano lang, tip. May ilan kasi mga kababayan natin guys na yung visa nila ng sponsor nila for example, ako may may isa akong client yung vis, yung yung sponsor niya which is yung kapatid niya is from Abu Dhabi. And of course, ang visa ng kapatid niya, yung employment visa ng kapatid niya is definitely Abu Dhabi. Pero ngayon, kinikwestiyon ng Philippine Immigration Officer na bakit ang ticket mo going to Dubai. Kinikwestiyon kasi yan minsan. Teka, bakit hindi Abu Dhabi? So the answer to that guys is very easy kasi most of pwede nyo sabihin that because the ticket na going to Dubai is more affordable compared to Abu Dhabi. Kasi nga, totoo nga naman, di ba? If yung kapatid mo ay taga Abu Dhabi, bakit hindi ka pinapunta sa Abu Dhabi? Bakit Dubai? O pwede kasing ganun. So at least kayo naman ang mga sponsor, try to explain din sa inyong mga kamag-anak sa Pilipinas na bakit, tika kuya, taga Abu Dhabi ka, bakit ako sa Dubai dumaan? Or maaaring kasi natapat na day off ko and it just so happened during that day in nasa Dubai ako and yung travel lang naman from Dubai going back to Abu Dhabi is just less than 2 hours. So okay lang yon Ang importante lang is to guide guys yung mga kamag-anak nyo na sa pagta-travel nila. Dapat maintindihan nila para in case man na magkaroon ng konting question ang Philippine Immigration Officers ay eh masasagot natin ng tama. Okay, so kaya nga I highly recommended ko talaga if you are from Abu Dhabi and you wanted to bring your relatives dito, try natin na ibigay yung Abu Dhabi talaga na flight. Para mas hindi na tanungin. Okay, if it's from Sharjah, unfortunately, wala tayong straight flight kasi na from Manila going to Sharjah. So most of the time talaga going to Dubai ang, ang, ano, ang flights. Basta konting explanation lang. And if you have questions guys, don't be shy. Pwede po kayo mag-comment sa akin. Huwag message sa akin. What I want kasi as an... As 
as your uh, travel consultant sa akin, I would like to clear everything sa isang traveler ang lahat ng mangyayari. At least, alam niya ang senaryo ng mangyayari. Diba, natin ka, bakit yung Sharjah ang kuya ko, susundin pa niya ako, bakit ako sa Dubai, bakit, <laughs> yung tipong ganon. So, importante that your kamag-anak traveling to UAE, dapat alam niya ang buong mangyayari. Okay, so now, hello kay Frank FMJ, sa Mr. Galing dito sa KSA. Direct UAE, kailangan pa po ba ng sponsor? Hindi na po kailangan. Kailangan lang po guys ng mga sponsorship or affidavit of support if the traveler is from Philippines. At kailangan lang yung affidavit of support if yun nga, yung traveler is not qualified as a tourist. Okay? So, hindi po lahat kailangan may affidavit of support. To Marian Miguela Akubo Beldilo, Beldilio Van Lee, ang haba. Yan, hello sa iyo. And of course, from Gladys Marie Gumilia. Sabi niya, hi sir, as an OFW, ano po ang reaction niyo sa current ban ng OFW sa Kuwait? At sa nangyayari sa mga OFW sa Kuwait? Just asking lang po. Okay. Alright. Uh, paano ba? Well guys, this is just my opinion. Okay. I know that our government, okay, our country, our government, ang gusto lang nila is, of course, to protect our citizens. Right? For sure, yun yun yung dahilan eh. And because of, yun nga, napakarami na pala mga cases na hindi napapansin. Eh, this is like our way of our government na proteksyonan tayo. Pero yung balibalita, I'm not so, so ano guys, well versed about sa issue ng Kuwait. Kaya I think I, I don't have anything na masasabi talaga. Okay, sa akin ay ang opinion ko lang na sana, eh marami naman tayong mga kababayan na nasa Kuwait and they were all okay. Siguro ang mangyayari lang kailangan natin na mas mahigpit na mga mas magandang communication between OFWs and the consulate sa Kuwait, right? So yung madali magsumbong, yung tipong ganon. So siguro mas paigtingin lang, mas pagandahin ang komunikasyon at reporting ng mga kapwa natin dyan. There are some kabayans kasi sa Kuwait na they're all okay. Ang dami kong followers sa Kuwait. And they are all okay. So it will be unfair if lahat sila tatanggalin doon. Kasi kung mahirap kasi, if kapag ang isang OFW ibalik mo sa Pilipinas, and they cannot get the same earnings na nakinikita nila, I think it's very hard to adjust. Especially if may mga plano pa silang hindi pa tapos. Right? Hindi pa nakapagtapos sa kolehiyo ang anak and you are all okay naman. So, ganun. Siguro, my comment is, siguro more focus on the welfare of our kababayan sa, sa, sa Kuwait na lang. Ganun na lang kung ang comment ko. Okay, to John Maranyon. Thank you, Mr. Juni. I'm a fan. Mar? Yeah, transfer. Who's Mar? Ah, okay. Ang marami kasi akong client na Mar. So, Marli Tawa? I don't know. Oh, you should have get the number. And, my God, JP, you used to work in a call center. How can you cannot get the name and mobile number? Sabi niya naman yan. Ako to test the Ah, okay, okay. For sure. Mar, if you are watching, please do call again. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So, nasa na tayo? Anyway, yun guys. So, thank you so much for at least naisama natin yung discussion na yan. I will check some messages na. Okay, so guys, again, thank you so much guys sa ating six. I think ako yung nag-share ng tatlo eh. So we have three 
na nag-share ng ating live streaming for today. Kaya maraming maraming salamat guys. Okay, so sisimulan na po natin. Uh, okay, ano masasabi mo sa pahirap sa, sa, sa good conduct? Sabi ni Franz Kevin. Okay. <laughs> Teka lang, medyo nalalayo tayo. But okay, thank you so much guys for for the question. Ayan, nalilay tayo ng, ng basa kasi ng message dito. Okay, uh, pahirap na good conduct. Okay, una sa lahat guys, it is not our government ha. Not Philippine government ang nag-require niyan. It is the United Arab Emirates government. So it is clear guys, uh, do not blame yung gobyerno natin sa padagdag na pahirap na yan. Kasi nga, naging issue kasi yan, na, ito na naman, piperahan na naman tayo and all. So it's not the Philippine government ang nag-demand ng good conduct certificate. Okay, it is of course the UA government. Of course, I think it is the right to make sure na ang taong bibigyan nila ng residence visa dito it should should have a very good good conduct, right? Okay, just update to that, ang nababalitaan ko, coming from other PROs, sa mga kababayan natin who has Emirates ID, hindi na po natin kailangan nung ano eh, nung uh, tawag nito yung NBI clearance from the Philippines. Yun kasi nagpapahirap nun eh. For us to get kasi yung good conduct certificate na yan, we need an appointment sa Philippine consulate, right? And the first issue right now is the next available appointment is April na super tagal. So what if you get an, uh, parang na hire ka na ngayon and, and the new company na hina hire ka is kailangan ito? Eh matatagal lang ka dal April pa ang next. Kaya sa ating mga viewers guys, alam niyo naman mas mabuti pong magpa appointment na kayo. Please get that appointment right away sa Philippine consulate natin para at least nakaline up na kayo for appointments. Kasi all you need to do is to go there and fill out yung NBI form at kailangan nyo ng fingerprint with attestation ng, police, ng, ng UAE police at ipapadala pa yan sa Pilipinas para ma-process ang inyong NBI clearance. And then after that, kailangan ipa-read ribbon sa DFA and attested dapat yan ng UAE Embassy in Manila. Guys, <coughs> singit lang natin. Kailangan po sa Manila, okay, yung attestation. Kasi nga, you are, that's your origin hindi sa po pwede dito ipapa-attest. Sir, pwede bang dito na lang na UAE Embassy? Hindi po pwede. It should be coming from your origin country. Kaya kailangan talaga siya ipabilik sa, Palip sa Pilipinas. Okay, so ito guys, simulan na natin ang ating usapin. Now we will be going to talk guys about sa mga minor travelers natin. Sabi ni Maria Miguela Akubo, nakakaini. Sabi niya, walang kwenta talaga. <laughs> okay. Ay, ito, ito. Simulan natin sa una. Sir, exactly. Uh, yes, exactly po. Diyan po ba nag-process din kayo ng kahit hindi ko ka mag-anak? Gusto nila po bisita. At ako po, cancer survival. They wanted only to visit. Okay, Maria. Wow. Okay, sorry to hear your story. Okay, una sa lahat po, if hindi naman kailangan talaga na mag anak lang ang pwedeng pumunta dito, ma'am. If they are qualified naman as a tourist, po pwede po silang pumunta dito to visit you. Okay, let's say, paano ba yung mga ganong profile? Let's say, if you, they are travelers na from other countries, hindi na po kailangan nitong uh, affidavit of support, ha? Ang kailangan lang nila is just ticket and visa. Two-way ticket, of course, papuntang Dubai and going back to Philippines, at kailangan lang naman visa papunta dito. If they are really interested po, I can help. Just PM me para makuha ko yung profile nila. If they are qualified, then I can help you process po. Para po mag-visit kayo. Oh, sorry ma'am, nalungkot ulit ako bigla. Yes, sana ma'am yun, cancer. May cancer kasi si mami. Eh. So, yun. Um, oh. I used to help yung mga kababahin dito ng mga cancer dati. Pero unfortunately, kasi mahigpit na nga po, di ba, yung charity-charity na hindi legal. Mahirap yung manghingi ng tulong online. Kaya, ito ma'am, I am praying for your healing. For your fast healing. Always pray to God. God is the most powerful po and everything is possible sa kanya. So, I wish you have a, have a nice day po, ma'am. Okay, and... Allen Santos, what if yung bunsong kapatid ko gustong pumunta dito? Kailangan pa ba ng support? Do kasama naman niya ang parents ko pumunta dito. Yung parents nyo ba is naka-residence visa dito? If not, kailangan pa rin. Oo. Don't worry, kasi immediate family mo niyan, walang problema yan. Walang problema yan sa Philippine Immigration Officers natin, Allen. So, if you are so sure, let me assist you and walang magiging problema tayo dyan. Okay? PM me or WhatsApp me. My contact number is there. Our packages right now, guys, no? For those who would like to bring your relative dito, we're actually giving itong uh, 
2,100 one month visa package and 2,800 for those who would like a value three months visa package. Okay, and yon okay. All right, guys. So shall we start na po sa ating discussion sa mga minors muna natin. So unu po sa lahat, guys. If yung mga minor na to are going to travel with the mother, eh mas madale. It's because mother po, yung, pag minor po yung bata, yung nanay ang has the power, okay, over sa father. So for example, if you are going to travel along with the nanay, yung minor na yun is magta-travel along with the mother kasi wala na maraming documents na kailangan. No need na for DSWD clearance. Ang kailangan nyo lang is a proof of relationship na nanay ka nga niya at anak mo nga siya. With that, madali na yun. So, yun yung unang advantage lang if traveling with the mother. Okay, second, uh, if not... Tika, may message sa'yo. Okay, hello kay Alex. Sa mga lahat sila tourist, tourist lang. Okay, so Alan, kung tourist sila pareho, yes, kailangan natin, natin ng affidavit of support nila. Kailangan natin ng mga proof of relationship nila. Okay, what are the requirements? So, una po, uh, kailangan mo, of course, ng, sa mga travelers mo, ha? What they need is, of course, yung passport copy nila. Second, we need ang photo with white background. So, yung photo po, pwede siyang 2 by 2 or passport copy, uh, passport size, I mean. Or, kahit mag-picture lang sila sa white wall, kami na pong bahala mag-edit mag, mag nun. And also, we need yung proof of relationship mo sa kanila. For your brother, or sa yung kapatid, we need yung birth certificate niya. And for your mom naman, we need yung birth certificate din niya. <laughs> o oh, tama ko, yun doon yung kailangan. Of course, we need your birth certificate para i-connect kayong tatlo. And then, yun lang, wala na magiging problema. And for you as sponsor, we need your passport copy, your visa page. Ito, it's either sa dalawa, OEC or OWA. Ano po yung dalawa? OEC guys, especially kung naka-uwi ka na, definitely you have your OEC. Pero what if kung exempted ka na, then it's fine, makakakuha ka pa rin ng copy ng exemption. Right? Or just give us the old copy of your OEC. That's okay. If not naman, kailangan meron kayong OWA. If you don't have the OWA pa, di ba, ang dami natin kababayan dito sa Dubai eh, na pumunta ng, pumunta dito as visit visa. Hello, Madam Malu. Hi, can you see hi to our camera? Ayan, thank you so much. I got a license, I got a license, uh, and people with the branch. Oh, okay. Eh, so si Madam Malu ang, uh, ang nagbigay ng suggestions with our very good topic today. And Madam, look at your, Wow, may, may meron ba tayong sponsor niyan? <laughs> Pogi din naman ako ngayon. <laughs> Taka pang malaki niya na naman ang ating amo. Tourism LLC branch. Oh, di ba? Branch. Meron tayong branch. All right, so congratulations so now guys. Abangan niyo po ang ating grand opening dito, no. Malamang bongga to. <laughs> Kasi nga our office is it's a mix of MPQ Couture and MPQ Tourism. Have a nice day, madam. Ay, anak ng parents mo. Okay, so yun guys, asa na tayo? And lahat sila tourists. Ayun, so, Allen, ay nga yung requirement mo, ayun, nabanggit ko na, no? So, if you are ready, we can help you process, guys. It's just 8 to, to 10 working days lang. Maaasikaso na natin yan lahat. At mapapadali ang pagpunta nila dito. And of course, kay Len Ronquillo. Sabi, hello, Juni and Larry are the best travel consultant. No, hindi ah. <laughs> Tawag ko mo try no. Oy, thank you so much Len for for that comment. And hello Madam, congratulations po sa bago niyong brand, sabi ni Len Ronquillo. Yes. So I just Our mentioned loyal agent ka. Ayan, so maraming maraming salamat guys for trusting MPQ Tourism and for everyone. Ito nga guys no, uh tawag nito pag-uusapan na natin, let's start na guys. Okay, una po is of course, uh if you are traveling guys sa mga minors, you know, ulitin natin na if it's uh, if the minor is going to travel along with the mother, eh wala na pong DSWD clearance yan. Ang kailangan lang nila is of course yung visa and ticket of course. Okay, and speaking of tickets, of course guys, ito meron tayong uh, rules dito, no? To those who are 2 years and below, considered po as infant yan. And definitely, maliit lang ang halaga ng madam, right? Paano naman yung, 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 yung baby, yung tao nito, kid, ilang taon yun? 2 years old up to what, what age? 11? Ano, 18, 18 years old. Kailangan nagyan ng DSWD. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, ano yun, uh, if, the, if, the, if the other person 
Oh, na dito nga. Pero what about sa age kasi ng ticket kasi 'di ba for 2 years ah. old and below infant infantry. One, Pero yung 2 years one, old and 11, 1 month to 24 months. Ah, infant yung ganon? Yes, it's considered mm-hmm. infant, but more than 2 years old. Ano na sa Ano ang term anon, Wen? Ano ba tawag doon? Kid, ano? Child. Child, child rate. Okay. So yun ang konting information lang about the ticket, of course, kapag may, may infant rate, ito yung baby nasa lap lang. So definitely guys, sobrang mura lang ng ticket nun. No seat kasi sila, kasi nga of course, hindi mo naman po pwede ang baby ilagay mo sa isang upuan. Right? So for the, for the, ano naman, for the child, yung child normally has seat na, but yun, mas mababa pa rin ang rate nun. So yun ha, FYI, baka mamaya lokohin kayo ng ilang mga agents, sisingilin sila na sobrang mahal. But depends. Uh, like sa agents. Sabu, like Cebu Pacific, there's no child. Oo. Oo? Right? Huh? I thought they have like 2 to 11 years old. No. Okay, but anyway guys, no matter what, please do, do double check. Wag po tayo mag-assume right away kasi minsan depende yan sa airline. Yung nga, alam ko nga with, ano, with Cebu Pacific, yeah. during the time that I attended yung isang seminar nila ang training, wala nga silang minor rate. So, at least clarify first before po tayo mag-compute ng kung ano-ano. Okay, and hello to Alegna Nebreda Iskalikas. What po requirement if I want to sponsor my husband to come here as tourist? And how much? I'm currently working here in Sharjah. Hello, Alegna. Okay, ang package namin ngayon, if, for sure, if you want to give your husband a 3 months visa, yung, yung package namin is 2,800. And yung complete package naman naman namin with 1 month is 2,100. So the requirement, ito, please get your pen and your paper I-share ko sa'yo. Okay, share ko sa'yo. Ang kailangan ng husband mo na requirements going here is we need you yung passport copy niya and make sure that his passport copy should be more than 6 months in validity during his travel. Okay? So, kailangan po more than 6 months kasi po, kapag ang passport mo is less than 6 months hindi po kayo papayagan ng Philippine Immigration Officers natin to fly or to travel. Okay? Second is, of course, we need yung kanyang photo with white background. Okay, guys, mas maganda nga talaga if passport size talaga siya. Okay? And yun lang. And then, of course, we need yung birth certificate ng husband mo and your marriage contract. This document should be an SO copy. All you need to do is just, as a copy niyan, pwede pong isend sa atin. Kahit i-email sa atin, po pwede na po yun. And yung requirement ko naman, uh, Miss Alegna, o Ma'am Alegna, we need your passport copy, of course, your visa page, OEC or OWA, and then, uh, kailangan natin ng proof of relationship mo din. So since si Mr. na yung magbibigay ng marriage contract nyo, I just need your uh, birth certificate. Okay, hello kay Bing Balanoyo. Sabi niya, hello sir, from Taiwan. And from Jenny Lin. Hello po, Sir June. Good morning, watching from Riyadh. Thanks for always sharing us. Okay. So, let's start na po natin, no? I'm going to share you guys yung minors na exempted from securing a travel clearance. Okay. Unang requirement sa pag-uusapan natin, guys, sino yung mga hindi na kailangan ng travel clearance? Okay, number one nga sabi ko, if traveling with either parents. Okay? Hindi po kailangan ng uh, travel clearance, yung isang minor, if they are going to travel, either of the parents. It's either mother man yan or father. Kasi dalawang documents ang hinihingi minsan eh. Travel clearance and DSWD clearance. So now guys, ang pag-uusapan muna natin, sino yung exempted for not uh, providing a travel clearance. Okay? So if the minor is traveling along with the, either of the parents, hindi na po kailangan yon. Second, if traveling with the legal guardian. When you say legal guardian po, ito yung, of course, automatic ang legal guardian talaga natin is parents. But if, yun nga, both parents passed away, yung grandparents, ang legal guardians nila. If wala na rin ang, grand, ang, ang grandparents nila, yun nga, kung sino yung legal guardians nila na i-authorize. Okay, pwedeng kapatid, tita, yung tipong ganun. Okay? Next naman guys is immigrants to another country and are holding a valid permanent residency card. For example, I have a client kasi na yung mother niya, ayun, dito siya sa Dubai pinanganak. At meron siyang naka-residence visa sa dito eh. Ay, no, no, yeah, naka-residence visa sa dito. So ngayon, nagbakasyon na sa Pilipinas at babalik siya dito, definitely hindi na po kailangan ng 
travel clearance kasi nga dito sa naka residence so yon and who else of course kapag ibang lahi hindi siya talaga Pilipino so hindi na siya kailangan ito not Filipino citizen and are holding a foreign passport okay don't worry guys the information we're sharing is actually coming from the website ko ng Department of Social and Wel Social Welfare and Development kaya yon Okay. Ngayon naman guys, how about sino naman yung mga kailangan ng DSW clearance to travel? Okay, una po, paano ba to? Una kasi is for minors na traveling alone for a foreign country for the first time. So lalo na yung mga first time travel na mga minors, required po talaga na meron tayong DSWD clearance. So again, ulitin natin if with the mother, yung minor hindi na po kailangan ng DSWD clearance. Okay? So linawin po natin yan. If a minor is traveling along with the mother, hindi po kailangan ng DSWD clearance. Kailangan lang po natin ng proof of relationship niyong dalawa. If the minor is traveling along with the father, kailangan po natin ng DSWD clearance from the mother. Correct, Madam Alo? Kapag father, kasi minor eh. Not totally. Yes. Kailangan. Kailangan. Kapag father. <laughs> Now, just to make sure, guys, I think there are some, may mga nangyari, na yes, okay na hindi na, but if I were you, buti na yung sigurado tayo. <laughs> How to secure DSW clearance? Okay, we will explain that at the latter part ng ating discussion today. Okay, so kasi nga kami guys, we can help you process that. We can, hindi po kami nagpa-process ha, we can just help you and assist you of what are the documents that you need to prepare para po pagpunta niyo sa, sa, sa Philippine Consulate, e eh, kompleto po yung mga requirements natin. Okay, second guys, ito nga, Duly accomplished DSWD travel clearance application form. So yung form na yun guys, makukuha nyo po yan sa Philippine Consulate. And then, a written consent of both parents or the solo parents or the legal guardian permitting the minor to travel alone to a foreign country. Okay, ulitin po natin just to avoid this confusion. If the minor is traveling again with the mother, hindi na natin kailangan ng DSWD clearance. If traveling both with the parents, hindi na po kailangan. Pero ang pinag-uusapan natin ngayon, if the minor is traveling not with the parents, yun, kailangan po talaga natin ng DSWD clearance. So, ito nga po, kailangan po natin ng consent, of course, ng parents, na inaalaw nila yung anak nila na mag-travel kasama yung hindi parents. Okay, so ibig sabihin, ito yung ano, uh, travel consent. So, makukuha nyo yan sa Philippine Consulate. Na inaalaw nyo, naka-mention, of course, kailangan, ang requirements na kailangan nyo idalhin dito is, of course, yung passport ng bata, passport ng parents, visa page ng parents, tapos yung passport nung makakasabay ng anak nyo na mag-travel papunta dito. Na they are allowing itong si first cousin mo, or si kapatid mo, o si tita niya, o si lola niya na mag-travel si minor na anak nyo papunta dito sa UAE. Okay, and proof of consent parenting uh, relation to child is one of the following form. So, ito nga, married parents, a photocopy of marriage certificate of the minor's parents. For, sole, for legal guardian naman, a photocopy of certificate of legal guardianship of the minor. So, of course, di ba, meron po kasi kailangan yun, kailangan ng proof, of course, na talagang ikaw yung author, ikaw yung legal na guardian ng minor na yan, if they say wala ng parents yung bata or wala ng lolo't lola, yung tipong ganun. Okay, next naman is, for the solo parents, okay, solo, ibig sabihin ito yung mga single parents. Kailangan nyo a photocopy of solo parents identification card from the Municipal Social Welfare and Development Office. Okay, a local social welfare and development office or TALAC or FLAX certification from Saria Court or any Muslim barangay a religious leader. Ayun. So, kailangan po kasi natin, natin ng proof. Hi, Gate! How are you? How's Europe? It's just nice to see you, brother. Okay. And, meron tayo if a child is illegitimate. Okay? So, ito po. So, po pwede pa rin sila mag-travel. Ang kailangan nyo lang is a certificate of no marriage or sinomar issued by the National Statistics Office. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, guys, po pwede, ha? Okay, and two colored passport size photos of the minor taken within the last six months. Of course, yung medyo bago naman. Yan yung, yan yung kailangan na photo na kailangan i-prepare. And next, DSWD social worker may require additional documentary requirements during the assessment of the travel clearance application 
to make sure that no child shall be trafficked and that the child's best interest and welfare is ensured. Okay, just additional information. No, I have I have some clients. Na yes, they applied for a travel consent. At kung ano ano pa, then minsan hinihingi an patalaga ng sulat ka may handwritten na letter saying na parang yung parang ano mo sa ano tawo authorization letter mo. So if I were you, gawin yun na lang den. Okay, ang gawin yun isabay yun sa pagpapadala yun na dokumento sa Pilipinas. Dito palang sumulat kayo na kinoglise parang inauthorize yun yung kapatid yun na ito ang passport number niya na magtatravel dito sa UAE ng ganitong date at pabalik sila ng ganyang date, etc. etc. and with your fresh signature. Kasi I have some clients na naging cause ng delay yun it's because hinahanap yun ng mga DSWD sa Pili office sa Pilipinas. So if I were you, gumawa na rin kayo ng handwritten na parang authorization letter. Okay? And what else? For minors traveling for the first time with a person other than the parents or legal guardian, ito naman ang mga kailangan yung isupply, okay? Julie Ock accomplished the DSWD travel clearance application form, a photocopy of birth certificate of minor, a written consent of both parents, so ito kailangan ng letter consent, or the solo parents or the legal guardian permitting the minor to travel to a foreign country with a specific person other than them. Yun nga po, so kailangan talaga naka-identify. Actually guys, I can only just show sana yung example. Sa DSWD clearance po kasi on the second page or nakalagay talaga doon yung name kung sino yung taong inalaw nila na mag-travel. And then, as appropriate, a photocopy of the marriage certificate of the minor's parents or a certificate of legal guardianship of the minor, or in the case of solo parents, a solo parent identification card from the Municipal Social Welfare and Development. So same na mga binabanggit natin kanina. And two colored passport photos of the minor taken within the last six months, and photocopy of the passport of the traveling companion. So kailangan din natin, of course, ng passport copy ng kung sino ang sasama sa kanila. Just to check na during the time na mag-check in sila sa air airline, eh, matubo check nila na, na ang minor, ang kasama niya ay tamang tao. Na kung sino yung inalaw ng, ng parents ng bata. Kasi di ba ka mamaya mahirap ma... Alam mo yun? So, this is guys for your benefit din. Yes, this is like additional paper to process. More time to complete. Pero this is for your for your safety po. This is for your, for your child. Di ba? Para sigurado. Okay, so ito guys, magbabasa tayo ulit ng mga messages. Okay, uh, tapos na tayo kay Bing Balanoyas from Taiwan. Hello to Rubo Ramos. Paano po mag-visit visa? Ang di ka mag-anak, sir. Okay, again, kapag hindi nyo po guys, unang-una po, sa pagdating sa sponsorship, ang pwede lang po talaga magbigay sa atin ng sponsorship or ng affidavit of support is ang ating immediate family lang. Rather than that, hindi po pa pwede. Pero, po pwede po mag-travel dito yung mga hindi nyo ka mag-anak Of course, provided na kung may kamag-anak pa sila dito, okay, or kung wala nga silang kamag-anak talaga is, are they qualified as a tourist? Yung sinasabi ko nga, if they are travel, frequent flyers na sila or travelers na sila, they've been to different countries na, eh, hindi po mahigpit ang ating Philippine immigration officers. Mahigpit lang sila sa mga first-time travelers. Kasi siyempre, di ba, they need to check baka mamaya kung ano mangyari sa ito and all. So second, if they are professionals, kung may mga PRC ID naman sila, and if They have a very good position from the company and the, the company can provide ang leave certificate nila, wala pong problema. I have clients like nurses in the Philippines, yun lang kailangan nila, nakapunta sila dito, dinalaw nila ang boyfriend nila. So po, pwede po. Okay, from being Balanoy, Sir Johnny, pabati naman po sa amin ngayon, March ang aking dalawang kuya, Rodel, then kuya Jun, Jun Jun, and ako, happy birthday March 5, my brother Kuya Rodel, then March 9, Kuya June, and for me, March 22. Ang dami mag-birthday sa inyo ng March. Pwede ba akong maimbitahan <laughs> sa mga birthday na yan? <laughs> Imagine, tatlong araw din ako makakatipid. <laughs> okay, to Jason Lobriano, hi po Sir Juni, to, to Larmi, Bakaron, thumbs up for a good advisor. And dami ko natutunan about travel. And hello kay Papa Romy Hernandez who's watching today sa Philippines sa lahat ng mga kabayan natin diyan sa Cavite. Papa Romy si yung boss ko pala si Madam Malu taga Cavite din. 
Tinurik kayo. Malayo bang tinurik sa ano? O oh, malayo yata. To Mar Fuentes, naman, hi sir, tanong ko lang po, at what age po pwede makapag-travel yung minor alone? I mean, siya lang. Plano ko kasi kunin ang anak ko ng 11 years old. Okay. Kung 11 years old ang anak mo, yes, pwede siya mag-travel alone. Meron po tayo guys ng mga airlines, no, na meron silang tinatawag na unaccompanied minor. So po, pwede po yun. And what else? So yun lang guys. So uh, if you still have more inquiries guys, questions about promotions, exiting, ito guys, highly recommended ko pa rin talaga sa lahat ng mga viewers natin. If you have guys, friends and relatives na mag exit highly recommended pa rin natin ang airport-to-airport service ng MTQ Tourism. As of now, again, same story from yesterday. Lahat ng exitor namin, ako especially, all of my clients, has been approved at nakauwi na yata sila. Actually, nagulat nga yung isang client ko na sabi niya, kararating niya lang ng Sharjah from from flight going to Oman. Sabi niya, approve ka agad. Sabi niya, gusto ko mag-coffee, gusto ko mag ganito. Then it's okay. Once your visa is approved, you can still eat from any restaurants sa loob ng Sharjah. Hindi naman kailangan na kapag nadyan ang visa mo, eh, kailangan lumabas ka na kaagad. Wala pong problema. Okay, from Ruel Young, pwede po ba? Ayun, na, nabasa ko na yun. I think I have to read some of the comments from the other part. Okay, okay. Nabasa naman pala natin lahat. Okay, again guys, ulitin po natin, we are now actually guys giving you the airport-to-airport airport packages ng MPQ Tourism. To those who would like to avail one-month visa package, it's only just 1,400 and 1,900 naman sa mga gusto mag-avail ng three-month visa package natin ng airport-to-airport. Airport. What are the advantages, guys? You will get the approval within the day. You don't need to rent or to pay for your hotel. Okay? Not unless, of course, if you really wanted to see how beautiful ang Armenia during winter season, I believe winter pa rin doon because yung mga recent posts ng mga friends and followers ko online, eh, they are in Armenia at may mga snow pa rin talaga. So if you really wanted to like give yourself a reward for being so hardworking, then I think I recommend you go guys and exit sa Armenia natin. And our packages right now is 1,700 for those who would like to avail one month visa package. And to those who would like to avail three months visa package is 2,700. Ang kagandahan po nito, we Filipinos are just visa upon arrival sa Armenia kasi. So everyone can go there, it's either naka-visit visa ka man or naka-residence visa ka dito. So yung, yung babayaran mong visa rate doon is just around 25 dirhams or 7 USD. And tell you guys, napakababa ng cost of living sa Armenia. Imagine yung hostel do, do, namin na partner doon, it's just 25 or 35 dirhams per day with free breakfast na yon and imagine for the whole day activity ng tour you'll just be paying 55 dirhams per day considering na ganong kahaba from 10 in the morning until 8 pm kayo makakabalik na talaga so sulit yung buong hapon nyo because yung tour packages na ibibigay nila sa inyo is a mix of you visiting old churches you going to the to, to the big second biggest lake in the world you will try their food and at the same time may mga area na may snow Okay, to Bing Balanoya, sabi niya, Opo, Sir Juni, invite po kita dito, Taiwan. Blue out ko po. Magdidisco pa kami. Then, tagay-tagay ng white wine. Then, pulutan, Chinese food po. Hey, Bing, padalan mo ako ng ticket. Pumunta ako sa Taiwan para makay birthday lang sa'yo. <laughs> okay. And, what else? So, guys, ulitin natin, no? So, ano guys, alam ko po kasi, guys, I think now, it's it, it is very timely yung topic na pinag-uusapan natin. Napakarami na po at this time na mga kababayan natin na it's either magbabakasyon sa Pilipinas or yung mga kamag-anak nila ang pinapupunta dito sa, sa UAE or sa Dubai. So now, avail yung mga promotions na meron po kami. And if you are looking for a trusted na tao from online na magpo-process ng lahat ng documents nyo, then I can say, I can help you with that. Okay? Our team, our all in ready for that and as much as possible ang kagandahan kasi sa amin is we don't allow if it's not really qualified okay so i think that's all for today guys if may mga pahabol pa ba tayo okay jp can i request you for a birthday song can we make it like a cappella a cappella birthday song Any birthday song? Okay, so while JP is preparing guys for that, I would like to announce again, no, MPQ Tourism Alriga Branch is already open. Guys, very easy to find our location. We are located at Office 
ng Green Corner Building. Same building lang po kami ng napakalaking Burger King. Opposite po yan ng Piriyahan or just beside Alguerer. So yung exact location namin, we are in the middle of Union Metro Station and Alriga Metro Station. So if you are from Alriga, lakad ka lang papuntang Alguerer. If you are from Union Station, baybayin mo lang yung side ng Alguerer. Makikita nyo na ang Burger King. Okay, and then, hanapin yung main entrance ng building, then proceed to Office 707. Nandito kami from 9 in the morning until 9 p.m. Pero pwede rin kami mag-extend hanggang 10. Ganun kami. Basta magbabayad na kayo, ha? <laughs> Hindi yung pag-documents lang, you can send it to our email or you can send it to our WhatsApp. Pero pag bayad na yan, we are very willing to wait. <laughs> okay, so ready ka na, JP? Are you going to sing a song? Oh, Okay. Alright, sa lahat po ng mga by birthday, this is for all of you guys. Happy birthday, of course, kay, kay Ayen. Deles, happy birthday sa'yo. Oo. Gusto mo 20 lights? <laughs> Hi. Birthday greetings. Happy birthday to those uh, mga kababayans na may mga birthday ngayon. So this song is for you. Ready? <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Kasi madami yung mga dami dyan kumikinang-kinang. Okay guys, so ayun guys, happy birthday sa lahat mo ng mga nanonood sa atin. Ayan, happy birthday sa inyong lahat. And of course, before saying goodbye again, I would like to leave you guys an inspirational message. Okay, this is for all OFW. Especially to those who are with issues with their loved ones sa kanilang mga asawa. Okay? This is my message guys. Always remember, okay, na na if nakakapag yun nga medyo medyo bitter yung topic natin ngayon kasi i just received a lot of messages kasi kahapon issue yung, about this issue na always remember na kapag nagloko kayo o niloko niyo yung asawa niyo sa Pilipinas okay ganun yung balat natin <laughs> no kasi ang daming issue kasi tungkol doon na kapag niloko niyo yung asawa niyo sa Pilipinas are you ready for the consequences what if yung asawa mo ay ready ka ring iwanan so kung ayaw mong iwanan ka ng mga anak mo at ng asawa mo, then di ba? So, uh, ganun yung buhay. Kasi sabi nga nila, sino ba yung nakausap ko? Si DJ Charlene Luna. She's saying that 90% of the long distance relationships daw, eh, hindi nga nagtatagal. But since, sabi nga niya 90, it means, I am hoping that all of you guys are belong to this 10% na, alam mo na ganun talaga. It's not about the distance naman. It's about the trust na binigay sa atin at huwag nating sirain yung trust na yon Kasi kapag nawala yung trust na yon promise guys, napakahirap ibalik. Okay, makita ka man nagbago, pero at the back of her mind, eh alam niya ang nangyari noon. At, at maaring maulit. Okay, so yun lang guys. Happy what day today? Happy Tuesday po sa lahat. Kaya sa lahat mo mananunod natin, mga viewers natin guys, lalo na yung mga mag-exit or exit is just until Wednesday. Okay, wala po tayong exit ng Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Kaya do check your tourist visas. Baka mamaya, last day nyo na pala, eh, mag-exit na po tayo. Okay? So that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. God bless.